Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of me trying to get blacklisted by Unknown Worlds Entertainment for absolutely breaking their beloved game. Now before we get started here, let me ask you this, has any fish in Subnautica bullied you before? You know, maybe those pesky reapers or those super annoying crash fish? Trust me, I understand. And I think many people can relate, but there's one problem. This. That's it. That's the only thing you have to defend yourself. Yeah, okay, you got some vehicle torpedoes, and you might have the stasis rifle, but at the end of the day, especially when you're starting out, that's it. And you know, while I understand that it might highlight the horror factor of the game, which it really doesn't need highlighting, let me tell you that, I was thinking to myself the other day, what would Subnautica play like if it had weapons? And I don't mean like one or two. I mean, as many as it possibly can. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I have curated for you several weapon mods and modifications to the game, some which I have already showcased before and some which are completely new, and together we will effectively be transforming Subnautica into Doom. So why don't we get started? Now to begin, let us assemble a base of operations. This is where we're going to be constructing everything from. Brilliant. Right, so why don't we start working right from the bottom? The knife, by default, well, let's be honest, is not exactly the most intimidating of weapons. Yeah, sure, it can slice pretty good, and the heated blade can even cook things upon contact, but I feel like we need to compensate a little bit. That is where the ancient sword comes into play. I mean, I do have to say, it, <laughs> it definitely feels more epic to be swimming around with a freaking cutlass as opposed to the uh, regular knife. And uh, boy, can it slice. It even seems to do more damage than the regular knife, holy moly. It can cut things up pretty good. Now, with the knife out of the way, let's get some secondary weapons. The Tech Pistol is one of the probably first mods I've showcased on the channel, and it's honestly been a long time since I revisited this one. So here it is. Uh, don't, 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 don't do that. What this handy little pistol, which I believe has been updated since, does is basically give you four modes, including laser, cannon, big, <laughs> and small. Now, laser is kind of the most self-explanatory. You have a fish, there's no more fish. You have a gasopod, it basically just melts. Now, the cannon is quite a bit more epic. Let's, let's test it out on this boulder right here. <laughs> Holy moly, that thing just shattered. I'm not gonna lie, I did not even realize that could happen. This thing is pretty powerful. Look at this, just a poor little peeper swimming about does not know what's about to happen and... Oh my god. Of course, we do also have the big and small mods, which pretty much just increase or decrease the size of anything. Wait, will that work on the base? This might be a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> I am a little stuck. Right, so <clears throat> let's forget that happened and move on to our primary weapon. I believe the alien rifle, which is also from the alien facility, should do a pretty good job of becoming our primary here. Now this thing is freaking epic. I mean, look at it go. Oh, what, what are we making this game into? Now I'm not gonna lie, this thing is pretty expensive to power as it needs precursor ion batteries, but once powered, it freaking works. And the coolest thing about it is that the shots will ricochet, so if you want to be some crazy gunslinger level of player, you can probably learn to use this pretty well. Now, I am having trouble hitting pretty much anything. Ooh, whoa, whoa, this thing does a lot of damage as well. That was a, that was a two shot on that gasopod, holy moly. All right, now that we've assembled our main arsenal, let's build out the rest of our equipment. Now, many of you are probably expecting me to just use the prawn suit, because let's be honest, that thing is already crazy powerful just by default. But to be honest, that seemed like a bit of a cop-out. Like, yeah, sure, it's very powerful, but what about the Seamoth? So many people use it, and it's such a beloved vehicle. Why not upgrade this one to be more powerful? Well, worry not, I have exactly the thing. In fact, several. One is, of course, the laser cannon. I mean, this one is quite overpowered by default, since it basically turns your little Seamoth here into a freaking X-Wing. Like, look at this. Aw, oh, man. The new Star Wars is looking great. But even more so than that, if you're not happy with just lasering things, how about blowing them to pieces? The explosive torpedo mod does pretty much exactly what you think it does, and it makes torpedoes, well, explode. Okay, let, let's aim it right there. Whew. Holy moly, 
I, yeah, that exploded. Hey, look at that. Is that a stalker I don't like? I can just aim my weapon, fire, and then boom, detonate room. Oh my god, yeah, that, that worked. Basically, with the press of R, you can now detonate the torpedo at any point. So I can just shoot and boom, detonate right there. That definitely adds a lot of utility, especially for killing smaller things like bone sharks, which can be tricky to hit. Now, with all of that out of the way, you might be thinking that we're done, but there's one last small utility mod, which I figure would be super handy, and that is a running with tools. To truly emulate the feeling of, like, doom, basically, you should be able to sprint around and still use your things at the same time, and that's exactly what this mod does. I can, for example, switch to the laser mode, run around like crazy, and st still laser the crap out of these crabs. What have we done to this game? I, I feel like this is probably a violation of something, you know? You see that one right there? Look at this. Oh my god! It's actually ridiculously fun to just run around and gun everything down. But you know what? It wouldn't be a true test if we at least did not try to go and kill one Reaper properly in survival. So, let's put this crazy mod set up to the test. Alright, I have officially entered survival. Oh, it wouldn't be an episode of Subnautica if we didn't get some Doom soundtrack, now would it? Alright, time to lock and load. And hunt ourselves some fish. Oh, come on, you big sucker. Oh, look at him flee instantly. Oh, yes, you're not gonna get off that easy. Boom! Not so tough now, are you? I think we need to try to keep him in place. I think I have a strategy for that. I might have to sacrifice the sea moth, but that's alright. Yeah, you want the sea moth. Oh, it's delicious, isn't it? Oh, he got caught on the floaters. Yeah, come on, take it. There you go. Let's go. And there he goes. Holy moly. Look at that. The biggest monster of them all. Well, I guess not the biggest, technically, it's the dragon. But probably scariest of them all has been defeated. Guys, I think that is the perfect spot to end this video. You can now run and gun however much you please. You just saw how easy it was to take down the Reaper with all of this equipment. And I mean, thank goodness. So, you know, next time you feel the need to rip and tear, no need to launch Doom Eternal, even though it's awesome. Just jump back to your friendly Subnautica and download the mods in the description. But that brings us to the end of this video, so I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing, all of those would be very much appreciated. With all that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.